In this video, I will consider a numerical example to understand a priori algorithm. It is the association rule mining algorithm. Uh, here, uh, uh, 12 transaction lists are given to us. Uh, in each and every transaction, uh, the different products were sold like milk, egg, bread, butter and so on. So what we, is the objective of this uh, uh, The exercise is to identify or find the affinities between the products that is the uh, the products which will be sold together uh, that's what actually we need to identify the support level uh, will be uh, the minimum support level is set as uh, 33 percent and the confidence level is set to 50 percent so that is uh, the thing we need to do so how to calculate the support uh, if you want to calculate the support uh, for the association rule uh, x to y the support is always equivalent to frequency of uh, x y divided by n that is the total number of transactions and uh, the confidence of rule x y is always equivalent to frequency of x y divided by frequency of x so this is how actually we used to calculate the support and confidence so now what we need to do is we need to identify all those rules which will satisfy these two requirements the minimum support was given uh, 33 percent and the minimum confidence is given 50 percent in this case so how to proceed is uh, first what we need to do is we need to identify the frequent item sets and then we need to write those uh, association rules which will satisfy those two requirements so there are 10 12 transactions are given to us uh, you can see those uh, transactions here first what i do is i will create two tables what is the first two tables i will create is i will write all the one item sets and their frequency so how many items are there there is a milk bread butter egg ketchup and cookies these are the six products are there now what we need to do is we need to count how many times each product occurs for example how many times milk is bought out of 12 transactions you need to just count it so that is uh, in the first transaction it was bought second transaction it was bought uh, when it comes to third transaction it is not bought when it comes to fourth transaction it is bought that's uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so nine times the milk was bought so that's the one thing we need to do it With the same note we need to identify how many times the bread is uh, bought in this case if we count it it is 10 butter is 10 egg is three times ketchup is three times and cookies is five times so this is the first thing we need to do now once we do this the next thing what we need to do is we need to create one more table which consists of only the frequent one item sets here we have written all one item sets now we need to write frequent one item sets what is frequent one item set frequent one item set is the item set which satisfies the minimum support level what is the minimum support level has been set that is 33 percent so if you want to check the 33 percent out of 12 transactions if you have for example uh, you can say that uh, uh, four transactions assume that four transactions four divided by 12 is equal to how much four divided by 12 first you need to calculate it just an example i'm telling you four divided by 12 is 33 percent okay so uh, what is the minimum the support we want 30 percent so minimum the particular product should be bought four times if it is bought for only three times that is a three divided by 12 is equal to 25 percent so that is not useful for us if it is bought four or more times it has satisfied the minimum uh, support level so in this case if you look at here uh, the egg and ketchup is bought only three times so these will not satisfy the minimum support and the remaining four will satisfy the minimum support so they will be called as frequent one item sets in this case now we have written the frequent item sets as well as uh, the frequency of those things now what we need to do is we need to write the ne next transaction we need to write two item sets and then we need to calculate frequent two item sets so that is the next thing so how to write the two frequent item sets these are the four frequent item sets within this we need to write the two frequent item sets uh, two item sets that is the first frequent item set uh, one uh, two item set is uh, milk and bread milk butter milk cookies bread butter bread cookies and then next one is butter cookies so total how many possibilities are there six possibilities you can see those things here milk bread milk butter milk cookies bread butter uh, bread cookies and butter cookies so totally you can say that uh, six possibilities are there now these are the two item sets 
what we need to do here we need to count how many number of times these two appears in 12 transactions for example if you go with the first transaction milk and bread is present the meaning of this one is uh, the first transaction the customer has bought milk and bread together similarly we need to count any other place we have milk and bread so if we go with uh, uh, second transaction we don't have third transaction we don't have fourth one we have milk and bread fifth we don't have sixth we have seventh we don't have and so on we need to count them so if you count those party thing we get seven times the milk and bread is bought together similarly milk and butter milk uh, and butter is present in the first one milk and butter is present in the second one milk and butter is present in the fourth one sixth one is uh, consisting of milk and butter eighth one is consisting of milk and butter and so on if you just count it we will get seven here similarly we need to calculate uh, we can say that uh, how many times each of these two item sets are appearing in the 12 transactions so this is how actually we do now once we do it we need to calculate frequent to item sets okay so in this case frequent to item set again uh, uh, an item set is called as a frequent item set if it satisfies the minimum support level so what is the minimum support level 30 percent if you want 30 percent minimum it should have appeared four or more times so in this case if you look at here milk and cookies is appearing three times butter and cookies appearing three times uh, these two will not satisfy the minimum support because the support in this case is 3 divided by 12 that is equivalent to 25 percent 3 divided by 12 which is equivalent to 25 percent that will not satisfy but what about 4 4 divided by 12 is equivalent to 33 percent that will satisfy the minimum support so we have only four to uh, frequent two item sets that is milk bread seven times milk butter seven times bread butter nine times and then bread cookies four times now what we got frequent two item sets we got what is the next thing we need to do we need to calculate what is the three item sets so what are the unique item sets we have here items we have here milk bread butter and then cookies these are the four things we have from these four things we need to find three item sets so just check it out milk bread butter cookies these are four things we have we need to write a uh, three item set at a time how can you write it milk bread butter that is the one item set milk bread cookies that's the one more thing milk butter cookies that's the third one bread butter cookies that is the fourth one so that is what i have written here now once you write it what is the next thing i need to do i need to count these three items how many times they occur in the transaction list milk bread butter milk bread butter it is occurring here milk bread butter milk bread butter three times uh, if you come to this one uh, milk bread butter four times milk bread butter five times milk bread butter six times so how many times it is appearing six times similarly we need to identify milk bread cookies milk uh, sorry bread butter cookies milk butter cookies so once you do this one we got the frequency of all these uh, three item sets now we need to check which one will satisfy the support level which one will satisfy the minimum support level only the first one because it is uh, uh, the frequency of uh, milk bread butter is six and remaining is one two and three if you consider the support of these three which will be less than the 30 percent that is three divided by 12 which is equivalent to 25 percent uh, that is less than 30 percent so definitely one divided by 12 and uh, two divided by 12 is also less than 30 percent now uh, what is the frequent three items that we got milk bread and butter what is the frequency six in this case now can i form the four item set definitely not because we have only three uh, items here it is not at all possible to form four item sets so this is the last step step here so uh, what is the uh, frequent item set we got is milk bread and butter and it is appearing six time over here and the support of this one is six divided by 12 that is equivalent to 50 percent which is more than the minimum support here what is the minimum support that is 30 percent and it is more than uh, that in this case now uh, this is the first part of a priori algorithm is over what is the second part we need to identify the association rules we need to write the rules okay so we can write the rules something like this so first of all we'll consider that uh, the frequent item set is uh, uh, that is i which is equivalent to milk bread and butter in this case now if you want to write the rules the very first thing what we need to do is we need to write all non-empty subsets of this frequent item set 
what are the non empty subsets the first one is milk second one is bread third one is butter next is milk bread milk butter bread butter and the last one is milk bread butter that is not necessary because we have that thing already here if i use that particular thing there will not be anything called as a left hand side and a right hand side so these are the non empty subsets of this frequent item set now how to write association rule that's a very important thing if you want to write an association rule you can consider this rule for every non empty subset yes of i for every non empty subset these are all the non empty subsets of i the association rule is yes arrow i minus yes yes is what non empty subset i minus yes is what i is the frequent item set minus yes okay so this is how actually we can do the uh, write it so i'll take one simple example let us say that i will take yes is equal to milk that is a non empty subset so if yes is equal to milk milk arrow this side what we have milk bread butter minus milk what is that bread and butter so milk tends to bread and butter so that is the rule now we can say that this is this rule whatever the rule we have written it is a strong rule if the support of i that is the support of frequent item set is divided by support of uh, uh, we can say that the the non empty subset should be greater than or equivalent to minimum confidence that is support of i divided by support of s should be greater than or equivalent to minimum confidence okay and now we'll uh, start writing the rules uh, first we will see this once again that is the non empty subsets are written here Uh, these are the non empty subset there are six possibilities the minimum expected support is uh, 30% and the minimum confidence expected is uh, 60% so how can you write the rule one is uh, the rule one is equal to the subset that is yes tends to i minus s so if i consider yes is equal to milk uh, i minus s is uh, bread and butter now we need to write what is support and uh, confidence here so support for this particular rule is how many number of times these three are appearing how many number of times these three are appearing So if you just see this particular thing, uh, the milk, bread, butter is appearing six times. So six divided by total number of transactions that is twelve, which is equivalent to fifty percent in this case. So that is what the support here. It will be same for almost uh, all the rules in this case because we will be considering all three uh, while writing the rules. Now, what is confidence? We need to calculate the confidence. So confidence is always equivalent to the support of. Uh, you can say that yes. support of i divided by support of s support of i i is nothing but what milk bread and butter so support of i divided by support of uh, uh, s that is uh, in this case uh, the milk okay so how can you calculate these things so this can be calculated as how many number of times milk bread butter is appearing as i told you earlier it is appearing six times out of 12 transactions the milk is appearing how many number of times you just go back to this particular slide and then see how many number of times milk is appearing nine times so nine out of 12 transactions nine divided by 12 so 12 12 will go here 6 by 9 will be the answer so 6 by 9 is equal to 66.61% so which is greater than or equal to 60% so this rule whatever i have written it's a valid rule and the confidence in this case is 66.67 so whenever i write this particular uh, support of uh, i divided by support of s yes, this 12 will be common so there is no need of using this one directly we can write the number of times uh, milk bread butter is appearing divided by number of times milk is appearing that is 6 divided by 9 we can write it directly similar to this we can write one more rule uh, that is uh, the s will be considered as bread in this case so what will be remaining on the right side milk and butter is remaining so what is the support as usual it is 50% because milk bread butter is appearing 6 times out of 12 transactions now confidence is equal to support of uh, milk bread butter that is 6 Uh, that is 6 divided by 12 divided by support of uh, bread we need to count how many number of time uh, bread is appearing so if you see here it is appearing 10 times so 10 out of 12 so 10 divided by 12 12 will get cancel 6 divided by 12 is equal to 60% which is greater than equal to minimum confidence so it is again a valid rule in this case uh, with a confidence of uh, 60% similarly the third rule is uh, we will consider s as butter the remaining is uh, i minus s that is milk and bread support is again 50% Uh, when it comes to confidence uh, the support of milk bread butter is 6 by 12 support of butter is uh, butter is appearing i think uh, uh, 10 times so 10 divided by 12 uh, that is uh, 12 12 we get cancel 6 divided by 
10 in this case again it is 60 percent which is greater than or equivalent to minimum uh, uh, confidence that is 60 percent so it's again valid rule the confidence is 60 percent now the rule number four is uh, this one milk bread will be considered as s what is remaining on the right side butter is remaining okay so now uh, we need to calculate uh, uh, the support is as simple as 50 percent the confidence is equivalent to support of milk bread butter divided by support of milk bread that is 6 divided by 12 that is uh, support of milk bread butter uh, support of milk and bread so we just go back and see milk and bread how many times it is appearing milk and bread is appearing 7 times 7 divided by 12 uh, 12 12 will get cancelled 6 divided by 7 that is equivalent to 85.7 percent which is greater than equivalent to 60 percent that is the minimum confidence hence this is also a valid rule here now coming back to the next rule that is milk butter tends to uh, what is that what is remaining bread is remaining support is again 50 percent confidence is equivalent to uh, again it is 85.7 uh, percent as uh, uh, we go we get uh, support of milk and butter is a uh, 7 so 6 by 7 is equal to 85.7 percent similarly we can calculate the other rule that is uh, bread and butter is equivalent to s and uh, i minus s is equal to milk support in this case is 50 percent and confidence in this case is 66.67 percent which is again greater than equal to minimum confidence hence this rule is also a valid rule uh, and the minimum confidence in this case is 66.67 so this is how actually we can use a, a priori algorithm to come up with uh, the valid or strong association rules first we need to calculate the frequent item sets and then we need to find the strong rules based on the minimum support and minimum confidence values i hope this particular uh, concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos and bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching